If Janet and Jeffrey were able to make a decision about life, they would opt for suicide. There have been times when I thought of doing something myself, but uh, the saying, uh, walk in another man's moccasins, unless you've been there, don't judge. Well, Ruthie is here, and she is a mother of seven children, four birth and three stepchildren. And she says three of her children have special needs and suffer from disorders. Now, Ruthie says the idea of euthanizing disabled children just makes her nauseous. Uh, tell me what you, you you've been listening to the conversation with Jeffrey and myself and Annette. What's your, what's your reaction? Because you have children that have issues. Um, I'm sorry that those children are the way they are. I'm sorry that my child might, might be that way someday. I will not euthanize my child because it's too much trouble for me. I will not euthanize my child because no one government doesn't want to pay for it. Well, you're too, saying it wrong. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to insult you. I know that you're going through something very painful. However, they're still your children. You know, we're not disagreeing here. The only question is nobody should ever make you do something you don't believe in. And the same with Annette. That's Government my, shouldn't that, make her do that. That's my, that's my agreement as well. Listen, I put myself in a situation, and if I was in that situation, I would want my suffering to end. Yeah. But I can't say that for your children. I can't say that in the morning, when the sun comes up and fills the room with light, that they don't feel a sense of joy. That they don't I can't, see. I can't, well, you don't do you know, know what that? their experience is. Because you, can, you can't, they don't. Well, I know, but we don't know, and maybe it is aromas they smell. Maybe it is the rhythm of their heart beating. Eat. Everybody doesn't understand. She can make that decision. Why? But the decision right now that she's allowed under law to make is horrific. It is to starve and dehydrate her children. So let's just, Who, since we've let's already as a society, like dogs, si like we since we've criminals. already decided as a society that she can make that decision, why would we make her make the most horrific we, we cause of death that. rather than an injection? We're talking about ch your children. The Some point they, is can't speak for themselves. Exactly. They can't. She's asking for the right to be merciful with her children. I mean, that's what you're asking for. Is, is that right? Now, you may agree with that, or, or you may not. And let me ask the audience, before we, we move on, by a show of hands, if, if you think it is the moral thing for parents to have the right when you reach a fatal and, Extreme. and irreversible course of a disease to affirmatively end that child's life, raise your hand. Oh, my God. All right, and if you say, no, listen, I, 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 that, is, that is murder, it is ending someone's life, raise your hand. Okay. So it looks like about 90-10 support what you want to do. Well... The message boards are going to blow up on this. We're going to look at it, and we will report back to you on what everyone thinks about this.